first thing we're going to do here is look at the secant of 135 degrees. Now, this argument right here, that 135 degrees, more than anything, it's all about the location. Because the location does a few things for us. Once we find 135 degrees, which is right here, by the way, it tells us a couple things. One, secant function in the second quadrant, that's negative. So I'm going to write equals a negative number. I'm not sure what negative number, but it's going to be negative. That's a guarantee. The next thing is, I know that 135 is directly related to 45 degrees. So I can refer to my table and check out the secant value at 45 degrees, discover that it is square root of 2, and now I have the full answer that the secant of 135 degrees is actually negative square root of 2. Again, identify whether it's positive or negative first, then, if, then refer to the first quadrant to find its actual value. So in this case, negative square root of 2 cosecant of 210 degrees. Let's see, where is 210 degrees? It's a little bit beyond 80, or 180, excuse me. Uh, it's right here at the 30 degree mark beyond 180, 210 degrees. It's in the third quadrant, cosecant is negative. So let's see, 210 degrees is related to 30 degrees, and the cosecant of 30 degrees is 2, so this is negative 2. Here we have the cotangent of 150 degrees. What's it equal to? Let's see, 150 is in quadrant 2, right there, quadrant 2, that cotangent is negative again, and 150 degrees, again related to 30 degrees, and the cotangent at 30, we can look that up, is the square root of 3. So this value is negative square root of 3. Let's come down and do the last two in this column. 270 degrees. That is all the way around to here. Now this is an axial value, an axial point, not in one of the quadrants. So we have to understand and derive the coordinates 0, negative 1. And the sine value is the y value is negative 1. Tangent of 225 degrees. 225 is right here. It's in quadrant 3. Hey, look at that. We get something that's positive. You know, it's positive. We don't have to put a plus sign, but I'm going to do so anyway because it's going to give me some emphasis and a reminder also that this is a positive value. It's related to 45 degrees and the tangent at 45 degrees is 1, so the tangent of 225 degrees is positive 1. Alright, let me come up now to number 6. Here we have the cosine of 330 degrees. That location is right here in quadrant 4. 30 degrees away from the x-axis, so we know that it's related to 30 degrees. But first, cosine in quadrant 4 is positive. So let me put a plus sign there. And it's related to 30 degrees. The cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. So the cosine of 330 degrees is positive square root of 3 over 2. Oh, look at this. We have the sine of negative 135 degrees. That means that we're going to be coming in the negative direction, 135 degrees, which is equivalent to being right here in quadrant 3. Sine in quadrant 3 is negative, so that's the first thing that I'll indicate. And it relates to the 45 degree angle across a circle. Sine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2. So that value is negative square root of 2 over 2. Cosine of negative 150 degrees. Negative 150 degrees. That is not quite 180 degrees, so it's going to be right over here. 
also in quadrant 3 and the cosine in quadrant 3 is negative and that relates to 30 degrees again and the cosine at 30 degrees there is the square root of 3 over 2. 480 degrees now this is more than 360 so I'm going to need to subtract 360 degrees from that and we get a 0 to 120 degrees which is right here in quadrant 2 cosecant in quadrant 2 just like sine is positive so I'll write a plus sign there and the cosecant at 120 degrees which is related to 60 degrees we can look at that in the chart and find that this is 2 square root of 3 over 3 540 degrees cotangent let's see this again I have to, must subtract 360 degrees we get 180 degrees that's in this location right here you know that's probably not going to be positive or negative I'm not sure let's see cotangent at 180 which is related to same thing at 0 they're related to each other but I'm still going to look at this actually as you know, think this one through this is a tougher one cosine of 180 divided by the sine of 180 and the cosine is negative 1 and the sine is 0 that makes this undefined so actually I shouldn't say equals undefined I'm just gonna kinda cross that off there and just write undefined